Hey, hey, fish heads, welcome back. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. We are back in the shop slash studio. And I want to start today's updates off with a question. It's a bit of a challenge. And for those of you that watch the channel and are airbrushers um, that do lures and such, this is the challenge. This is a horsefly. And it is a real horsefly. Well, no longer living, but a horsefly nonetheless. And my question to you guys is, how would you go about painting this pretty much all black horsefly? Now I'm moving it around for a reason because the only thing that you guys can see are the reflections from light. And if you notice, it's almost a white reflection. So how would you go about putting in shading if you were to do wings and a body on a horsefly like this? So give yourself that challenge. Think out of the box. Would love to see how you guys would put something like this together on say a 1.5 or a 2.5. Obviously it doesn't have to be the exact same shape and size. But that is my challenge to you guys this morning. So now let's get into the pieces that I have to show you. Leave me a comment in the section below as to whether or not you're going to attempt it. If you attempt it, you are welcome to send pictures of your finished product to Jen Cravasi at JekyllBates.com. I will leave a link in the description below on where you can email the photos and that is your challenge for June. Here's what I got to show you this morning. Even though you may not watch this 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 morning, this is how that bait turned out. The uh, part of the double header. I'm going to show you both of the finished ones. So yes, it was lime, but boy, doesn't it look more yellow than lime. There's some orange on the belly, and a little bit of that pearl pineapple. But this is a lime green. Now you can see the difference if you look real close. And you can see it probably better in real life than you can on camera because cameras can be real tricky things. But this is how that turned out. Love the way this turned out. And so a lot of you were asking where I got the blank. These blanks you can get on lure parts online. Although I always tell you whenever possible repaint the real thing. So here's a quick versus. The body style is very similar. The real Baby One Minus has got the gill plate and the pressing on the, on the sides. This is just a clean blank. There's no markings. There's no press for scaling. So there are some pretty big differences between the two. Um, size wise they got it right weight wise they are the same when they're not dressed and not painted uh, they swim relatively similarly but the man's you can always tell by the gill plate and the lateral line and the pressed scales so this is the real deal this is the replica so whenever possible I always try and paint a real one this one I just happened to have laying around, so we went ahead and painted it up for a spray session for that double header. And then this little guy was the woolly bear, how that turned out. And this is that mystery tackle box runt. So those two. And then I've got a real deal. This is a Bandit 100, shallow diving. You can always tell the 200s are a little bit further out and they're a little more rounded. And this is, um, it's a four line stencil that I created just out of the same stuff that I always use. Those little inserts from, uh, from the lures. Did a little bit of freestyle dot on that. And one of the things that I'm going to be showing you probably not until the weekend because my package should arrive Thursday is I'm going to be goofing around this weekend with some um, acrylic paint pens, freestyling paint pens, and I'm going to show you how to use them, and I'm probably going to do it in a tips and tricks and not in an actual spray session, 
but we will highlight some of the different things that you guys can use for out-of-the-box thinking for lure making. And then we've got this five piece here. It's going out to Jeremy Pollard. I went ahead and put a second coat on this. And this is the old red. And it's a, just a white free spray and then a Q-tip to get those pupils in the eyes. It's a fairly simple pattern to recreate. And that's how we did it. It's only three colors, actually four colors, because I put a little bit of orange, that tangerine pearl, on the bottom. And that's lots and lots of shimmer, folks. So that's what we've got to show you today. Yep, I've got a cool book underneath of me. I was kind of flipping through to see what I might want to create. Now this is an aquarium book. Um, a lot of aquarists, people that keep fish tanks, use stuff like this, but the cool thing about this particular one, and it's just called Eyewitness Handbooks Aquarium Fish, there are other, uh, like 500 varieties in there, and most of them are freshwater. You don't get into the actual, and actually that's a pretty cool one, Sergeant Majors and Humbugs, Damsels, they're all in the damsel family, but most of these fish are freshwater. And even so much as to, let me see if I can find them, there's cichlids, there's oscars, waters that you're going to find tropically and also in the states. Um, and I've had this book for so long, I've always, I've kept uh, notes in it, I take notes on it. Um, but I did see, and I'm certain that I did, somewhere in this book, I saw some mosquito fish, there's stuff that's based in the United States, some of the Danios. Um, and it'll tell you where these fish originate from. So if you want to get super specific and you have clients that fish all over the world, I've got a few that do. Um, you can really tailor your patterns to where they're fishing, to what the bait is. So that's just a little cool tips and tricks. And uh, it's, I've made notes for aquariums too because I used to keep aquariums um, and I, when I was much, much younger. I worked as assistant manager at a pet store that had lots of fish tanks. So that's my little tip for the day. That's what we've got to show you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I appreciate the view, and I will see you guys on the next video, which is probably going to be another spray session. I've got something fun in store, and um, I'll explain it in the spray session. But very quickly, um, I just kind of wanted to show you. Yep, that's it. That's all you get. Ooh, almost forgot, almost forgot these. Um, got these in from Brian. These are 100 double D. It's a deep diving jerk bait, six to 10 feet. I don't know that a whole lot of testing has been done on this. Um, I know he said he had not done a tank test on it, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some testing with it this weekend. We're gonna get them painted up and I will let you know how they do. Um, if it's anything like the the replicas of the regular DD or the regular if it's anything like the regular 100 and 120 SPs that he's got those pressings this thing is going to be dynamite so I'm excited to see what they do and how they swim so more to come on that and I will see ya